it is your flesh in this day and age sadly 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 a lot of people in the church are pretty much mistaken um they believe that god saved them to spend their life having to have demons and stuff cast out of them and that is just completely unbiblical so many parts of scripture says that we have been saved from the domain of darkness that the evil one cannot touch us so on and so forth we have been given the spirit of god the same spirit that raised christ from the dead give life to our mortal bodies that same spirit that raised christ from the dead is interceding for us in times of weaknesses and it's just amazing to me how god um, um, inspired them, the apostles, to share these biblical truths with us, to share with us what it is that we have been blessed with. Not only our souls being saved, not only for us to be um, internally secure, but also and eternally secure, but also that the Spirit of God Himself lives inside of us protecting us guiding us through this thing called life so today we're going to be looking at um james chapter 1 verses 12 through 15. we're going to really you know we're going to really take a deep look at what is really going on that is not demons that you're fighting it's not the devil that you're fighting in this sense that it is your own desires. It is your own flesh that keep tripping you up. So let's look at James chapter one verse, and we're going to start at verse 12. So this is James chapter one. We're going to be looking at verses 12 through 15. So starting at 12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desires. Then desire, when it is conceived, give birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Let's go back up to the highlighted verse, verse 14. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. This Greek word desire here, it means lust. It means craving. He is Lord. It says, verse 14, but each person is tempted when he is Lord and enticed by his own cravings, his own lusts, his own desire. It's not a demon family. It's not Satan. It's your own desires. It's your own flesh right here. Verse 15, then when your craving, your lust, when it has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Understand, family, that you're dealing with your own desires, your own evil desires your own flesh remember in the first in the first um video right oh how your flesh your desires the desires of your flesh is the most intoxicating thing that a believer in christ has to deal with this is why paul this is why james is very intentional when they saying that it is your own desires, your own flesh that you must crucify. You must walk by the spirit so you don't gratify the deeds of the flesh. 
Because what happens when the deeds of the flesh happen, right? Look at it. Let's look at this again. Each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desires. It is your own desires. Enticed means to be deceived. <laughs> it's deceit. You know what I mean? Entrapment. Each person is tempted when he is learned and lured and entrapped by his own cravings. It, it puts things in a different perspective. I always encourage believers in Christ to do word studies. Do look at the look at the scriptures from the original manuscripts and stuff like that, man. That Greek word enticed is deceived. It means to be entrapped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's that deep. It's that deep. This is your flesh, people. This is why, this is why those of us that you know that point out carnality man carnality is a very 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 serious thing very serious issue within the body of christ we have been given the spirit of god in order to be able to put away the fleshly desires to crucify our fleshly desires and walk according walk in accordance with the spirit People study these things and don't take your the desires, your cravings, your lusts. Don't take that as a light thing because it is not a light thing. It's not a light thing. It is very serious. It will it will hinder your spiritual growth and maturity. And if you ignore it for so long, you will begin to be intoxicated. You'll be convinced that you're OK, especially if no, if the people around you Especially if the people around you aren't holding you accountable. You're not accountable to anybody. This walk is vitally important. This walk is vitally important, people. We have to take these things serious. Every man is tempted. Is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own cravings, by his own lusts, by his own desires. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we have no time. Look at the world around you. Everything is, is just, it's evil. It's evil. The world is going to hell with gasoline draws on. So we have no time to waste. We have no time to play games. We have no time for any of this foolishness that is going on right now. You know what I mean? Your flesh does not care where you spend eternity because guess what your flesh is not going to spend eternity with you so we have to get these things under control walk by the spirit pay attention intentionally pay attention to these desires allow your desires to be conformed into god's desires you know seek things that are above and not on the things of below so that's part two, man. It is your flesh, man. Before you guys go, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with somebody, man. Share this, share this with somebody. Thank you guys for watching. Grace and peace.